pretty gang, it is Jen, your exclusive start of business coach. This video is brought to you by my Braid Hair for Cash course. When you get a chance, check out my Braid Hair for Cash course in the description. Make sure you're enrolling today. So you guys, I want to come in and talk to you guys about some of my unpopular opinions for braiders, okay? Some of y'all not gonna like this, and it's fine, okay? You not me, I'm not you. However, let's talk about it. So the first thing that is unpopular is I don't believe in deposits, okay? I don't believe in deposits because anything can happen and you know people can flake on you that's why you want to take precautions like follow up following up with text messaging and scheduling and calling to confirm if people are still going to you know get their hair done you know what are they what are they actually doing and to be honest i've yet to not all the time even even me i have been canceled on by a hairstylist so a lot of times many people who want their hair done they're usually not playing no games they usually want their hair done right so a deposit I'm not a fan, but hey, sis, do your thing, okay? The second thing is extras. I hear a lot of braiders complaining about having to help someone blow dry their hair, having to have your products on, um, with you, and them needing extra things, scissors, hair. As a professional braider, sis, you should have some of these things anyway. So complaining about extras, if anything, you in the beginning, right, the beginnings of your braiding career, you want to do the extras because those are the small things that people remember and those are the reasons why people are going to call you back because they know you're willing to do the extras. Now, I'm not saying just do no full blown, you out here washing, blow drying, you know, um, doing oil treatments. No, no, no. I'm not saying all of that. However, extras can actually benefit you in the long run because people are going to remember that you 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 did those extra things. You you had a pair of scissors when, she, when uh, the client needed it. You had a pack of spare hair when the client needed it. You had beads. You, you had rubber bands. So it actually sets you apart from others because it makes you look professional. The third thing that I am, you know, a popular opinion, I don't, you know, I believe in just giving people their money back. Now, now, I'm not saying everybody. I'm saying do not damage your business over something very short term, right? And the reason why I believe in refunds is because if you can refund somebody with a receipt, that'll be in your best interest because if they try to bash you, slander your name, or discredit your braiding business, you can easily share that you communicated with them professionally and you provided them with a refund. So what's the problem, sis? What's T? What you mad for? Big Satch Energy. What you mad for? I gave you your money back. And do you really want to destroy your long-term braiding business for $50, $100, $150? No, ma'am. Right? I'd rather get that client back, that little 50 funky $50. Take a little funky $50 back. Don't, don't call me. You don't even need to post nothing about me. You know? You don't have to say all of that to them. I'm just saying that's how I be feeling. Okay, so refunds for me, I would rather give somebody a refund than damage my business. I've only been asked for a refund one time, and I, um, at that point, I didn't give it back, but this was so back in the day, there wasn't all of this social media for somebody to be like, oh, this is a bad braider, da, da, da. What it was is that the guy got his hair braided. His hair was very short. He did not wear a wave cap when he was sleeping. No type of head tie, nothing to, to tie his head down, and he wanted a, a, a refund like a week later. Uh, no, bro, you don't get no refund. You didn't wear no wave cap, you didn't have no headscarf on, and it's a week later. Yeah, and your hair was about this long, so those braids was only gonna last for so long anyway. So I didn't give them the refund. However, in today's age, with all this social media, people can write reviews about you and make videos and all this other stuff, you definitely want to be on the up and up. So for me, I give refunds. Um, I'm not a fan of same day appointments because I feel like there's so much that needs to happen especially now before you actually visit a client you need to find out you know are they uh, medically safe or medically clear from you know the Rona out here you also need to know the texture of the hair what kind of hairstyle do they want you know how are they gonna pay you these are all the things that when you do same day appointments same day appointments other than if you're at a brick and mortar aka an actual storefront these are the kind of things you need to work out before you get to a client. And if you take them that same day, uh, some things can be missing if you do their hair the same day. However, I know people's hustle is strong. So when you get a call the same day, you want to go do the hair. But for me, my unpopular opinion is, meh, I don't do client same day hair appointments. Um, the next thing is, I am a fan of saying no. I know brand new brothers don't like hearing this. 
But you have a right to tell a client no, especially if they're going to be a rude customer, a mean customer, and they're going to be more damaging to your business in the long run. Again, do you want to ruin your long-term braiding business for funky $50? No matter, okay? No matter. So for me, I, um, I turned on clients, right? And also, me in particular, I actually only have specific styles that I do. There's many styles I know how to do. I could do fox locks, you know, flat braids, flat twisties, box braids. I do all of that. But my preference is natural hair, one layer, or natural hair, or added braids, two layers. Like this, when I got this right here, oh, this is this is for me. I don't like doing that for a lot of people because I like to get do clients where it's quick, it's simple, you know, two hours out of my day, make a little 50 to 100 dollars Now, for other people, I understand. You might accept all type of hairstyles because you want to have a variety of clients that are coming to you. But my best suggestion for that is definitely um, learn how to do some of the big ticket items just so that you can have that under your belt. But if you prefer a certain style, make sure you're promoting that style, telling people about the styles you like to do the most because I would uh, not like for a client to come to you thinking they're going to get something and it's like, girl, I didn't do that. Okay, so you guys, these are my unpopular opinions about braiding hair, okay, the braiding business. So you guys tell me in the, in the comments below, get down there and share with me what are some unpopular opinions about hairstylists, braiders in particular, that you don't, you don't like or that you see or maybe, you know, it's not your thing. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.